What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So a little bit of a different type of video today. You know, I, I know some of you guys follow me on Instagram or YouTube and you may have heard me talk about eXp Realty before and you know, I never really made a YouTube video on it and you know, why I decided to make the decision that I made and basically the reason why I actually didn't do the video is because before eXp, I was at a new brokerage pretty much every year to year and a half. You know, I felt like I needed to freshen it up. It got stale and I needed to make a move. So I wanted to actually make sure that this is somewhere where I wanted to be long term uh, before I go out and, you know, make a video on, you know, why I decided to make the decision. And, you know, I'm here for the long haul. So here it is. So what I'll do is I'll go over the main reasons why I joined the company, why I'm still at the company, and a couple things that you know I had to overcome while being at the company. So um, I think before we get into the reasons why I joined, it's a good idea to just kind of give you guys a little bit of a background on where I was when I decided to make this decision with my business, with my life, uh, so that you can kind of get some uh, perspective here. So I joined about a year and a half ago, just over about a year and a half at this point, and at this point in my life, you know, I had recently moved to Toronto. I've only been here for about a year, year and a half. You know, originally when I came here and started selling real estate, I landed at a Keller Williams office and I was there for about seven, eight months and I was a solo agent, you know, didn't really like the experience that I got. Nothing against the brokerage. Brokerage was great. But, uh, you know, I was a sole agent. I just, I didn't vibe that well with anyone there. You know, I was, I felt very alone. Uh, broker support was mm, iffy. And, uh, and I just, I, I had to make a, a change. You know, I just wasn't doing business. It wasn't working and I had to figure something out. So uh, I came across, you know, someone who uh, was building their business very much like I wanted to build mine. And I was very big at the time and I still am on mentorship and just, you know, finding a mentor, learning from them and, you know, kind of putting your own twist on it. So I found a team uh, to join who was kind of doing a style that I really liked and I joined them and I had to move brokerages in order to join them. So when I made the move, you know, it was a tough bill to swallow. You know, I had to start paying about 50% or more commission to the team leads, the brokerages, but I thought of it as, okay, I'm investing in myself. It was a pretty big investment on myself. Uh, I want to say that year, I actually, I want to say I gave them about almost $200,000 in splits. So, I mean, it was a $200,000 investment in myself in one year and it was good. You know, I had that team atmosphere. I had people that I could work with. Um, I had that mentorship. The only problem was I was, you know, kind of tied to that team for a one year agreement, which most teams make you sign. It was a tough pill to swallow. So regardless, at the end of the year, you know, I find myself, okay, I'm looking for a brokerage. I'm ready to go, you know, kill it as a solo agent. Now, where do I go? So I set up a bunch of interviews at so many different brokerages. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. I was really hung up on being a Remax agent for the longest time. And I really tried to make it work. Like I interviewed four different Remax offices and of course, you know, some other brokerages. I'm not going to name all their names, but I interviewed them all and they were kind of just giving me the same song and dance. And then it wasn't until I got approached by a good friend of mine uh, back in Alberta, actually, Mike Sherrard. I'm sure a lot of you guys know him. If you're on YouTube, uh, he's got a big channel. You can check it out. I'll put a link down below, but uh, he was a good friend of mine. He had recently just joined eXp. I think he was at the company for maybe a couple months at that point not even. And uh, he he kind of broke it down in a little bit of a different way where he was like, hey, you know, I want to join this brokerage. I want to build a group that has, you know, a value stack where we can, you know, act as a team, but, you know, get compensated differently through, you know, the EXP structure rather than taking, you know, 50% commissions from everybody as a traditional team would. And, you know, this would offer mentorship, uh, resources, trainings, camaraderie, which was everything that I was looking for. So, you know, when that opportunity came up, I was like, okay, you know, I really like the sounds of this. And I will say that our group was the number one reason why I decided to join. And no, this is not, you know, a selfless plug to, you know, promote our group, although it is pretty great. And if anybody is looking uh, to, you know, hear about what we have to offer, I'll put a link down in the description below. But I will say that was the number one reason why I decided to join. You know, leaving that team atmosphere that I had and knowing from, you know, my time at Keller Williams that, oh my God, being a solo agent is kind of scary. You're all alone, you know. 
I, I wanted that team like atmosphere, but I didn't want to pay for it. And this just felt like kind of a hybrid between the two where, you know, I got the, the camaraderie and the mentorship that I needed, but I also got the solo splits that I also needed. So, you know, when this came up, it was pretty much a, a no brainer. And that takes me into the second reason why I joined. And let's not kid ourselves here. You know, it's all about the numbers. It's all about making money and the splits and the fees. They all just made sense for me. Remember, I was coming from a split team where I was paying over 50% of my commissions away in splits and fees. And then now here I am, I get an opportunity, you know, to have an 80, 20 split with a $16,000 cap. So the most I'm going to pay is 16,000 bucks. Um, and then also they basically challenge you that if you do 20 additional transactions after you cap or hit $500,000 GCI, whichever one comes first, they're going to give you, you know, your $16,000 back in the form of company stock. So, you know, for me, that was a challenge. Okay. Can I hit icon and basically be at a flat fee shop? Right. So, you know, I got all the mentorship and the, and the group that I needed. And you're telling me that I can get this for free if I go out and crush it and just sell more houses and do more deals. So, you know, the numbers made sense. And to add on to the numbers making sense, you know, I started investing in real estate when I was 20 years old, which is when I bought my first house. And I understand the power of passive money over active money and having multiple streams of income. So, you know, eXp offering the rare opportunity to have three income streams versus just your one that you would get at a traditional brokerage was really intriguing to me. You know, ultimately I had to sit down and, and think to myself, why Am I doing what I'm doing? And why do any of us do what we do, right? You know, real estate is tough. It's demanding. It's taxing. You know, if we didn't want to take on this job, you know, we'd go get a nine to five that's a lot more laid back. But ultimately, you know, we all want to create lifestyle and there's no ceiling in real estate. You know, you can make as much money as you want. You just have to go out there and earn it. And that's why I'm here. So, you know, Having the opportunity to add three income streams and, you know, get me to my goals faster, you know, get me to that lifestyle that I'm looking to create quicker, uh, ultimately is extremely in line with what I was looking to do. And at the time, I didn't know if I was going to utilize all three income streams, right? I didn't know if I was going to try to build up my revenue share or if I was going to use the agent equity stock options program. But, you know, just having them there in the back of my mind was nice to know. And it was like, if I ever get to that point, you know, then I can use it. If not, and I just sell houses. Okay, great. I'm in the same position as I would be at any other brokerage uh, that only offers a commission option. So uh, it really kind of became a no brainer. And and I will also say that when I joined, I actually had no intentions of really doing the revenue share side of things. Uh, I was really focused on the the splits and the and the stock. Right, the stock was super intriguing to me, and it was just really good to have the option that I could make more money if I wanted to. It kind of just raised that ceiling a little bit higher. So, uh, definitely a big reason why I joined. Now, the third reason why I joined was just the fact that this was something different and this was something new. You know, at the time, I had just missed out on, you know, the cryptocurrency bull run. Everybody was making crazy money off of Bitcoin and Ethereum and all these things, and I missed it. I just, I flat out missed it. I remember, you know, hearing everybody kind of whispering in the background about all this stuff, and I just kind of turned a blind eye to it. And everybody made money except for me. I didn't get in. So when this opportunity came around, and I remember somebody telling me at the time saying like, when you hear those birds chirping in the background and they're talking about the something and you keep hearing the same thing over and over again from multiple different people, there's a reason why. And here I was, I had heard about eXp from a few different people. Uh, I got approached back in Alberta, you know, years before too, but I turned it down just because they were kind of sleazy. And uh, the way they were going about it was just, you know, it just felt like they were just adding to their back end. They didn't really offer anything. They didn't care about you. They're just like, oh, come join, make me a bunch of money and that's it. But this opportunity felt a little bit different. You know, I got to be a part of a group that has mentorship, training, resources, camaraderie, and it was just time for me to get in and not miss out on another opportunity. 
And I'm not going to lie, it feels pretty good to know that I'm not missing out because I look around and I see that, you know, no one's really doing anything revolutionary except for this brokerage. And I feel like I got on, you know, early. I feel like it's still early. You know, we're at about 70,000 agents at the time of shooting this video and uh, projecting to be, you know, over 500,000, you know, in the next few years. So I feel like it's a really good place to be right now. And I'm really happy I made that switch. So those are the three main reasons why I joined. Um, th there's a bunch of other reasons, but those are the three main ones. Now, one thing that I thought was kind of funny was actually when I made this brokerage move, uh, I had just moved into a condo at Midtown because Midtown was a walking distance to my old office. And we moved in, I want to say it was like March 3rd, 2020. And then, you know, the pandemic came literally, I think it was like 10 days later and everything was shut down for two years and I was very much an office person you know I like being at the office you know having a nice place to work that's you know away from all the distractions at home and you know joining exp a big obstacle that I had to overcome was you know the whole virtual world but then you kind of realize that the virtual world, like we, we don't actually spend a whole lot of time in there unless you're going to trainings and, you know, working from home has just become so much more efficient for me. Like I do everything over zoom, not even just like our EXP stuff. Now I literally book, you know, buyer seller calls over zoom because I prefer that I don't have to leave my house. I can bang out, you know, four buyer consultations in a single evening, which would normally take me two days, half a tank of gas and a bunch of lunch as I'm, you know, running around the city. So I've become so much more efficient in my business, but I know that that was a really big thing that I had to overcome at the time. And now it's like looking back, I would never run my business any other way. And the biggest reason why I'm still here is the wolf pack. It's our group. When I joined, you know, we only had about 10 or 20 of us in the group. It was just getting started. And, you know, we didn't really know what it was going to turn into. And I didn't really know it was going to turn into this. Uh, but, you know, we talk every single day. You know, we've got four weekly calls. You know, I get to hang out with like-minded people who want to grow their business. It's just become a really good close-knit family. And it's just such an interesting dynamic because it's the only brokerage that really offers this type of a group where people actually have a vested interest in the success of other people. It's crazy. Now I've got my own group and it's like, you know, you get to know agents and their families and their goals and, you know, what they want to accomplish. And we all get to work together towards that same common goal. And it's just so much fun. And it's just something I've never experienced at any of the other brokerages I was at. So um, those are, you know, the main reasons without getting into too much detail. And if anybody does want to have a chat about what we have to offer, again, I've left a link down in the description below and you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with myself. So uh, curious to hear you guys' comments. Uh, I know that eXp can be a hot topic amongst real estate agents. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.